Hi guys, it's Niche Builds and today I'll be showing you how to make a fish tank with the palm tool. So I just started off by using some bedroom cupboards and placing them where I'd like the fish tank to be. Um, I would recommend using um, two tiles wide by two tiles long just because there is a chance that the fish can swim out of the tank and this will just minimise it because obviously you can't control where they go. Uh, so yeah, I did that. Um, and then I made sure to fill the bottom of the tank with the rest of the cupboard so that there wouldn't be a dip in it. I tried other things like platforms, but that did not work. Um, so I'm just putting the windows in for the fish tank right now. This will be like an inbuilt fish tank, but I do change them to half walls later as I think they look a little bit better. Um, yeah, I'm just lining it up to try and make it look as normal as possible. And I need one extra cupboard. <laughs> just so the ends aren't showing uh, but that's the whole base of the fish tank it's actually quite simple to do um, and it would be nice to have a base game fish tank but this is the best I can do uh, so then you add water to it and I've struggled with this a lot because um, well obviously the pond feature is new so I've not really had much of a chance to use it but also um, my windows kept disappearing as you'll see <laughs> yep disappeared windows <laughs> so yeah I realised like they need to be above the window height the pond needs to be above the window height basically so they won't disappear and then I went in and I just add some greenery some things that I would you know, things that you'd find in a fish tank. I really wanted like some kind of treasure chest or something, but there wasn't any, so <laughs> plants and rocks <laughs> were the best I could do. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone home? It's actually kind of fun. This is really weird. This is the first time I've spoke in my videos. I'm not very good at it, but I thought it'd be easier with an explanation. Um, yeah, I'm doing this because I only have the base game for The Sims 4. As um, I've just finished university and um, can't really afford to spend money on Sims right now. Although I do love the game. Uh, yeah, so at this point I, th I was like trying to find an extra item to put in here and I think I ended up finding a toy ship. Yeah, yeah, it was a, the toy ship and I had to move the rocks about after that because otherwise it was getting in the way. But yeah, this doesn't take me too long actually, it only took me like 10 minutes. But yeah I think it's just a really like handy thing to have there is some um, uh, uh, the fish do sometimes come out of the tank and swim around the air but they usually fade away and you can't really notice unless you know you're just looking at it it would be nice if you could control where they go um, I'm trying to find more items here. I was thinking about putting a mirror behind it to make it look nice but um, I decided against it because I think that would have been too much. Uh, so now I'm just adding some fish and to make sure you can see the fish um, use the 9 key to raise them up but obviously make sure they're still in the pond. And I put about three or four of them to get enough fish flowing at all times. Uh, 
and there we go that is the fish tank as you can see some clipping but other than that I think it looks pretty okay um Hello? so is anyone home? obviously there's more things that you can do with the pond tool like actually make an aquarium which um to be fair I think I'd like to do an aquarium build or like a museum aquarium build I think that would be pretty cool um to have um but yeah that's it really I hope you enjoy